Hey everybody, how's it going? We're just gonna do a quick little video. This comes up all the time on the forum. Um, it's, it's a simple task, but there's different ways of doing it. So I'll just show you how I do it. What we're talking about is Plaster of Paris. Um, I just did a video a little while ago explaining what I use this DEP brand, just a cheap brand that I use. I'd set a 10 pound bag, it's actually a 10 kilo bag. So anyway, this is the question is, is how much water to mix to fill your mold. So I'll just give you a sort of roundabout way here. So here's a little mold, makes this little skull planter here. I'm making about six of them so I can uh, mass produce some instead of pouring one at a time. They sell really well. So anyway, all I'm gonna do is take the mold, and this works for just about any mold, is uh, you're gonna go about two thirds of the way up with water, not right to the top, about two thirds, okay? And then that's gonna go in your little mixing bowl. And then just leave your, your mold upside down to drain while you mix your plaster. So this is called the island method. There's different ways of doing it. This is just how I do it. You sort of get lump free and bubble free. I never really have any issues with it. So it's gonna take a few seconds here, but you just take some in your hand and just slowly sprinkle it over the top of the water. And while you're doing this, it's to, um, you just want it to absorb the plaster because it's water soluble, right? The plaster of Paris. So you don't want to be throwing big handfuls at one chunk and then mixing and throwing a handful in and mixing and going, going. This method, you get it all in and it's just a quick little st stir. I think it's called Plaster of Paris is ectothermic. It, it doesn't react. It doesn't start off unless, until you stir it. Uh, so if you got a big bucket and you started firing this in and spinning it, it's going to start kicking off right away as, as soon as you do that. But this is actually safe. You can, I've never done it, but apparently you could actually do this ahead of time and let this even just sit until you need it and it, it's not going to set up on you. Uh, don't, don't. Uh, <laughs> take my word 100% on that. It's just what I've heard. I remember watching old videos and seeing that. So we're getting close. You can see these little islands are starting to form on the top and it's getting slower for the absorption. So there, can you see that? You get little peaks. And there's just a little bit of water you can see floating on the top. So I'll just give one last little sprinkle on here. Just a little tap, a little jiggle just to get that absorbed, all right? Okay, so that's sort of its max absorption. That's all it's gonna take. So now you're gonna turn your mold back over again. Just reach in, give it a little stir and you're gonna find there's no lumps, no bumps. And actually, even if you had lumps with Plaster of Paris, it's okay if there's a few lumps inside. It, it doesn't make a difference to your, to your piece. What you don't want is a lot of bubbles. So if I agitated this, like if I put this on a mixer and spun it, you're, you're going to get so much air. I give it a little tap just to get some of the air up to the top. Then it's nice. This piece has this little base to pour on. If not, you'd sort of give it a tilt and pour to the front or the back. But I'm going to aim just for this little piece here, slowly pour it in, and when you get just over halfway, I just like to give it a little tap, if there's any air getting trapped, I give the mold a spin, washing the plaster sort of around the inside of the mold, and slowly yeah, you don't want to pour in the center if they don't. You don't have a piece. Of, don't pour in the center and don't hold your your bowl way up in the air up here, or you're gonna get a lot of bubbles. So just keep it down close to the uh, mold. Slowly pour it in. Just about there. Just a dash more. There we go. And you can see there's just like a finger's worth in the bottom, left over. And that's it, so it takes about an hour or so to, to kick. I always give it two hours and you come back and you can actually gently, you can strip it in two hours already. You'll feel on top, it's warm, 
and then you'll go back and it's going to be cold you know it's already kicked off and it's ready to roll anyway that's just a quick one gang just to uh, show you how i do plaster of paris take care everybody